What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher Slime Science Update. The Slyance Update. That's what I would have called it, but maybe that didn't work. I don't know. I like I like mixing words together. It's an addiction of mine. It's a thing that I have an obsession with. It's a problem. There goes our first key in the previous episode. We had fed up the Largo that we always feed up first, the big pink one. There's another one down at the bottom that we can feed up in just a minute. The Phosphor Slimes love Pogo Fruits. Although I think they like the strawberries better. If you feed something its favorite plort, it gives you double plorts. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty good stuff to know about. And so if you really want to get that payout, you should do your best to come up with a pretty diverse roster of foods that you can feed to various creatures. Oh, there we go. That'll nice and iron out. And I think there's like magma slimes in here too, although there is the possibility that we might get our ass whooped if we go up in there. It's a little dangerous. A little dangerous. A little dangerous up in that BZ. All right, so I don't really want the phosphor slimes anymore, so I'm just going to throw those out here and hope for the best. Instead, I'm going to try and duck these haters out here because believe me when I say they're hating. Please tell me why you always hating. I don't know. Can't tell you. They're just hating is what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're a big badass and you want to mess with me right now. Oh, no, I'm stucked. There we go. I, I freed myself. It's okay. There's nothing to worry about, Nerd Castle. We don't have a potential railroad situation here where my foot is stuck to the rail. The train's like, hoo hoo, I'm a coming. And it's trying to take you out. It's pretty bad. There's there's a train where I live, and every now and again somebody dances with that some bitch. And it ain't never pretty. It's just like, woo hoo. Brutal. You know, Boom Slime, now is not the time for you. Instead, I need to make sure that I am properly feeding. I gotta properly feed the animals that I have, and in fact, since I only have rock slimes right now, my suggestion would be that instead, we pay a little bit of cash, we clear out the garden that we have, and we actually plant it with heartbeats so that we get double plores from our rock slimes. Double plores from our rock slimes works pretty well for me. We could put largos in, or largos in there, or gordos, I'm sorry, whatever they're called, gordos, there we go. We put gordos in there that are mixed with pink slimes or whatever to get ourselves a little bit of extra cash. It's really, it comes down to taste. It's really what you're up to. It depends what you like. Do you like mango? Do you like lemon? Do you like raw berry? You know, which do you prefer is the question at the end of the day because everybody got their own preferences. Like, I personally, I'm very, very partial to here. You guys have some more K-Rots. There you go. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. I think I can clear this, yeah, by paying a little bit of cash. And then instead what we'll do is we'll grow heartbeats in here because heartbeats are their favorite food. And so they will eat it more frequently, which will make them plort more frequently, make our lives a little bit easier, make us a little bit more wealthy because we have a we have a cash shortage right now that I'm not sure that I'm a fan of. Not a big fan of our current cash shortage, so here, you guys go in there. And that's about as many rock slimes as we're going to need inside of here. That's a lot of rock slimes. This is a pretty pretty hardcore quantity of the rock slimes they rock the hardest though you got to bring them in they're down with that blind guardian ish that's what they're all about be careful while you're while you're tending to your rock slimes too because they will get a little violent from time to time they don't mean to do it it's just they're like pandas they roll everywhere and because they have those bony protrusions on their body sometimes they hurt you sometimes they hurt you prices are down on rock slimes right now doesn't matter because we need to get paid like right this second and then what we're going to do with this plot over here, the plot is thickening. We're going to turn this into a garden as well. And we're going to have this one grow pogo fruits for us. So that once we get ourselves set up with our new, we need to go out and get carrots and pogo fruits. All right. Got my laundry list. Or not my laundry list. I guess my grocery list would be the one. I don't know exactly how I want to participate. We got plenty of pogo fruits. So maybe I do something like this. Let's go ahead and feed the horde over here. And we're going to get these pink plorts just to give ourselves a little infusion of cash and get the farm going. Now, you can't put, like, pink plorts in multiple slots, so you can only carry 20 at a time. Later on, we'll be able to upgrade our backpack so we can carry 30 and 40 of an object at a time. I think it actually ends at, like, 50 unless they've upgraded it even more than that. There we go. Pink plorts are ready to go. There's plenty of plorts laying around here. Let's go get paid a little bit of cash. Probably not worth the excursion, but we're close to home, and I figure why not? Gotta make that money. There we go. Prices are very much down right now. So instead, what I would suggest we do is maybe we come up with a solution. Maybe a new 
Well, we can do we can do we can do cats. I think would be probably a wise thing to do. If we pick up the feline slimes, yeah, I think it's time. It's time to pick up the feline slimes so they can dine and then make plorts oh so fine. And then we feed them like swine. Put our chickens in a line. That one ate the chicken that I was planning on making friends with. And I think over here, they're like plotting to eat my. Ch I need these chickens though because the cats are carnivorous. And so they are one. Can I suck this up yet? Yeah, I can't do that yet. Later on, we'll be able to store water in our backpack, and then we can fire water at like slimes that are being unruly and like launch them backwards and get them out of our face. Basically, we've got riot reduction. We can get out there with the fire hose. You get to take a drink from the fire hose. Don't really want the tabby slimes. That's what it was. There we go. So we got a couple of tabby slimes in here. Up in here, tabulating. Uh, there's another one. That one appears to be stuck in a bush. I know the feeling. It happens from time to time. Okay, so we've got the tabby slimes all lined up. There's only three of them, though. That's not very many. It's not enough for me to be happy anyways. Like, I'm getting a little greedy right now. I'm getting a little bit greedy. I'm a man that will address my flaws, but when I just see golden money, well, pinkish money... Just laying around on the ground right now with nobody claiming it. There's a little savage side of me that's like, yeah, I need to monopolize this. I need to in some way, I need to in some way own this. Like, I need to make this happen, otherwise I can't live a happy life. The little Ebenezer Scrooge deep down in my soul makes me want to do it. Cool, Pink Plorts is done. Let's rock it on back. Save that chicken. Oh, I tried. I tried so hard. I tried to save you, chicken, but if you're suicidal, you know, do I run into a pen full of lions? No, I do not. That chicken was just like, you can't have me, and just like went for it. And it's his own fault. It's his own fault. Tabby Slimes, welcome to your new home. I apologize that this is the way things have gone down, but such is life. Oh, there's another one right there. Hooray. Hen hens everywhere, and we will be breeding those soon, so we'll probably want to hold on to them. A little bit more cash to be stacked, although realistically not very much. We are growing heartbeats over here, which is good because they're going to need to be fed soon. You see how they're kind of collecting along the corners right there? That's what you got to watch out for. That means they're getting a little bit salty. They haven't been fed in a way that's satisfying to them. So for 11 pogo fruits, they give me hen hens, cuberries, and plorts. Eh, no thank you. Every now and again that thing will randomly generate missions for you where you can deliver certain items... And that will ingratiate you to one of the other. I'm assuming there's going to be like a reputation system or like a trading system later on with all these other farmers or something like that. I That's where I see that naturally leading to. And if you fulfill their requests, maybe they become friends with you a la Stardew Valley or something like that. Which I think would be very, very cool. I would love to see this game go like in the exact same direction as Stardew Valley. Start developing a little bit of a narrative in there. Characters that you get to grow and love and then also physically love if you can convince them to like you enough. You're like, I'm beautiful. You're beautiful. Let's say we retire to the boudoir and do something beautiful. I mean, I can't really. I, I've never I've never filmed myself in the act, so I, I can't promise you that from your perspective it'll be beautiful. But from my perspective, it seems pretty awesome. I don't even really need to I don't need to expand on that at all. It just like mm, feel like it's pretty awesome for my sake, so you know. Take from that what you will. That is a stony hen. Not a stoner hen, a stony hen. I will probably take some of these phosphor plorts that are laying around. And actually, if you guys just want to supply me... Oh, there it goes. There you go. Alright, so we got issues now. However, if I can suck up some of these random goody plorts in here... Oh, I think they all got eaten or otherwise disposed of by nasties. Okay, well, I can't really change much about that. I assume we'll just have to live with the owl. The consequences. I'm going to jump up here real fast, though, and maybe bust that open and see what we can get here. Yeah, another tabby slime. I'll take that. We do need a roostro in order to make this all work. I don't know what you know about male and female, but you kind of need both in order for the chickens to breed properly. These are not, like, asexual chickens that just pop out chicks all by themselves. Chickadoos, as they call them inside of the game. Everybody loves chickadoos. Chickadoos is adorable. Chicka do, chicka don't, chicka will, chicka won't. See, I'm already on that rap game right now. I just need to make a. I gotta get it going. Somebody's gotta. I gotta be like Khaled. Give me a beat. Nah, forget that. Nah, I say Rick Rock. Give me a beat. 
That's what I say. Because I'm from the Bay. We can't be doing that Khaled stuff. We got to have like, can't be on that mustard life. Can't be on that Khaled life. You got you to gotta keep it real out here. You got to, you know, them Freddy Machete beats. Them Rick Rock beats. Them Tracks a Million beats. Alright, so I don't really have a whole lot to feed you guys with right now. But if you just chillax for a little bit here, you guys enjoy the bounty of chickens for the moment. And you guys, I promise I will track down some form of food in just a moment so that your life isn't ruined and you don't hate me. Because I don't like it when my animals hate me. I want there to be love, 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 love. Although don't love your slimes too much. I'm pretty sure that'll lead to a federal indictment of some kind. At the bare minimum, it'll probably make some kind of animal rights group very, very unhappy, so... Enjoy! Yes! It's your favorite! Dine! Dine upon them! Poop forth all of the plots! Poop for me! Not bad. Not bad at all. Ow. There is a distinct chance of getting me getting my ass kicked in here. Cool. Not a bad harvest. Not a bad harvest at all. Ow! Leave me be. All I want to do is provide for you over the long term and just make you happy. That's all I want to do. Why do you make this so difficult on me? Why you gotta struggle so much? Oh, market prices are reloading. Ooh, dash boots. Hell yeah, fashion forward boots. And the prices get worse. Well, phosphor slimes are worth a decent amount. Rock plorts, though, that economy is just hurting right now. 600 bucks to be had right there. Don't think I have a whole lot to feed to anything else, so instead it might be worth it to go after this quest right now. Well, I don't know. I just don't know no more. Alright, so there it is. Rock slimes, go back to do, do what you do in the corner right there. For now, I'm just trying to get paid. That's all that I care about. Good. Hen hens, stay in there to your inevitable demise. I'm sorry. How horrible must that be to be the chicken walking towards the tabby cage? It's got to be bad. It's got to be terrifying in at least a little sense. Just be like, dead chicken woken. Dead chicken woken. All right, so we got that right there. We can upgrade all of these with various upgrades. I recommend doing the fertilization one and the watering one just because it'll make your life a little bit easier. But instead, I would probably focus on... Well, let's get a coop up and running. Roostro and a chicken in there. We can also add spring grass, vitamizers, high walls. Eh, I'll probably leave that alone for right now. Instead, give me... Hmm. Give me another corral. That sounds good. And then we've got a little bit of cash left, so let's see what we got going on as far as upgrades are concerned. What can we afford? What can we do? What can we throw down on right now? We can get a jetpack, which is actually pretty useful. We can get more health. We can get more power. We can get a tank booster, which is, I think, what I'm going to take, because that'll allow us to carry 30 units of whatever it is we have inside of our pack pack. Instead, that's right, I said pack pack. Don't skip past it. It's the pack pack. Throwing down under pack pack, because that's how we do. Please don't eat that. I am going to gather you guys up. I do need more carrots, actually. We're in a bit of an unenviable position as far as our produce goes. There's no fall damage, so don't concern yourself too much with that. If you fall, you fall. And we all fall sometimes. Why do we fall, Master Wayne? Why do we fall? Why do we fall? God, I swear to God, Michael Caine can do anything. Like, Michael Caine is my dude. Like, Michael Caine could just talk about anything. Like, he's... he. he I, think, I think Michael Caine is white Morgan Freeman. That's what it comes down to. You got Morgan Freeman and you got Michael Caine. Between the two of them, what they need to do is they need to create a power duo that just voices over everything, and then they'll just be unstoppable. That'll be the end of it for every other voice actor. Michael Caine. Uh, I've decided I, I like to work on impressions every now and again. It's something that I enjoy. It's something that true, like new voices and things like that, it just entertains me. It's what I do in the shower. My wife's always making fun of me because I'm doing it in the shower, you know. The other people do other things in the shower. I use that time for... Professional development, yada to feel. I, I think that uh, we need mm, any more chickens around here. Yeah, chicken, come with me. Come with me, chicken. Come with me if you want to die. Probably horribly. In a way that is probably not satisfactory. I, I feel guilty about it, but 
Every now and again, one of you gotta go. We should probably get pogo fruits too, because if we get the pogo fruits, we can start to feed the other Largo, or the other Gordo or whatever. I can never keep them straight. Are the Largos the really big ones, or the Gordos the really, really big ones? I don't know. Terminology is not my strong suit. Right, get a whole bunch of you because we need another key so that we can open up further zones to make our lives a little bit more robust. We got 12 pogo fruits right there. This one's probably going to take a little bit more time in order to get done. It is its favorite food though, so I think you get double the filling if you give them their favorite thing, I think. I'm not 100% on that one, but I'm pretty sure if you give one of the big ones the stuff that it likes... It'll go quicker for you. There, perfect. Pogo fruit's all ready to go. We probably have some ready to be harvested back at base, too. Let me go ahead and grab these carrots while we wait because they're utterly wasted going to these low-class pink slimes over here. It's just a waste of the resource. Like, why would you do that to them? You know, don't give it to them when... There are more deserving slimes. There are slimes who stand up for the Republic. Republic. And there are slimes that do not. And the rock slimes have always been faithful, aside from the rare occasion that they headbutt me in the face right after I feed them and sustain their life. With one rooster and a bunch of hen hens in here, they should start breeding pretty quickly. There's still some hen hens left inside of that pen. Most of your slimes only need to eat like once a day, so it's not too big of a deal. Let's get our pogo fruit harvest in here. There we go. Pogo fruit harvest is good to go. I'm going to take these all down, and we're going to try and feed. There's a giant phosphor slime over here. Now, this might take some doing, because I don't know exactly where he's at. Like, I've got a rough idea of where I need to look. However, he's easy to miss, if I remember correctly. So pay attention while I'm doing this. I'm going to go up and over the edge right here. And me tinks, he's over on this side. Don't fall in the water, by the way. It's bad for you. It's bad for your health. It's not going to turn out well for our slime rancher. But I think it's right here. And this game is actually like honeycombed with little secret areas, if you didn't know. Like, they're seriously all over the place. So you should definitely take a look around. And do what you can to just kind of look in every corner for, like, random stuff. Maybe he's back over this way, then. Maybe I got this all wrong. I must have, because he's not here. Me. <laughs> Maybe this side, then. I think it's got to be this side. It's got to be like... I think what happens is you go to this zone right here, and then you go, like, over the edge right here. There we go. Now we've got them. Now we've got them. Pogo fruits for two! There we go. Third, what the hell is that? A treasure pod? Huh. That's new. I have no idea what a treasure pod is. I assume that in some ways it acts as storage and or in a transport capacity for treasures. But eh. We'll have to come back to that later. I assume that that ties in some way into the slime science update. If you're looking for stony hens... This is the place to look for them. Stony hens are the favorite of the tabby slimes. Makes them poop out double plorts, so if we can grab some of these, that'll ensure they're feeding for a little while because we only got like three or four of them. So that'll make it a little bit easier on us. Run back across our little bridge here, and then that's going to spit us out topside. We have further stony hens over here, who I shall bring along with me. We'll look around briefly for anything what might be useful on this side. I'm going to grab another tabby right there. And then we'll head back to base. I would like them to add some kind of, like, hearthstone to the game so that you can instantly go back to base when you want. Maybe not allow you to teleport, teleport back to where you came from. There are teleporters in the game that allow you to get to some of the further regions a lot easier. Those do exist inside of the game, so I don't want to give you the wrong impression. What was that blue thing up there? Like, what is, what is going on with that? There was a blue thing up there. Hmm... I am instantaneously interested in whatever that blue thing was. I want to find out. Even if it's nothing important, even if it's just like a, a smurf plort, you know, I don't even care. That's cool, whatever. Uh, phosphor slime, sorry, you're going to burn up in the sunlight. 
because I do need more pogo fruits. I need large quantities of pogo. Is there a tree down here that does pogos? It's not ready yet, though. Okay. So we're not going to harvest that. God. Stacking up rocks. So we mostly have the things we need in order to make this all go by happily. I think. Anytime you see the gold slime, shoot a food at him. By the way, I didn't talk about that in the last episode. We had a gold slime. They spawn randomly. Like, there's no way to really tell. Sometimes they spawn, like, constantly, and then other times you just never see them. Just sort of depends. There we go. So we should have some tabby plorts coming in right here. Not really that concerned about the rock plorts, simply based on the fact that the market is way, way, way down on rock plorts anyways, although it is up on tabby plorts. So maybe we get in on that here. Give me those. Perfecto. Those are still growing, so those won't be done for a little bit. However, do we have any baby chickens yet? Ain't no chickadoos yet? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Let's go get our tabby plorts while we're here. The tabbies I don't think attack. The tabbies will attack, I think, if you haven't fed them in a while. But otherwise, they are docile. But I don't 100% remember that, so please don't quote me to anybody. I have no idea. There we go. Make a little bit of cash off of that. I'm going to throw the remainder of the stony hens in here so that they all get fed up. And not like in that way where you're like, oh, I'm so fed up right now. Uh. Like, not kind of like roll your eyes like, oh, good God, whatever, Dad. Not like that kind of fed up, but like fed up like their tanks are full. You know what I mean? They're going to definitely need to make kind of a Beethoven's. They're going to need to make like a Mozart pretty soon. You know what I mean? Going to have to. Although the efficiency of the digestive tract of these slimes is actually... Something that's fairly impressive to behold. Did any of this stuff regrow over here? It did. Good. Perfecto. That gives us about 15 more. I think we should be pretty close with the phosphor slime over there. I don't think it's going to require a whole lot more goading to get it moving. So we'll stay on it for now. But I think that puts us in a pretty solid place. No, I'm not going to end the episode yet. I'm just messing with you. You still got another couple minutes. Another couple minutes before we got to hit that old line and just be like, it's all done. It's all over. We're dead. We're doomed. It's all over. No more Splattercat videos ever. Ah, till tomorrow anyways, kind of. Over the side. Go over the top. Wow. Still ain't done it for him. Still ain't done it for him. I thought we'd be getting close by now, but I guess I was misinformed. I was wrong. I was doing this improperly. Oh, hey. I will take your free money. Oh, they're in a good mood now. I wonder what changed. Is it just like they, they changed their perspective on life, maybe? Like they sat down and said, hey, what am I so angry about all the time? I'm alive. I'm drawing breath. It's not that bad. It could be worse. Other people have it worse than me. Maybe it's not worth all of this hubbub and chasing the farmer around and trying to murder him with my spiky geo like our, our geological protrusions, you know? Maybe it's not worth it, our geological pokey parts. Uh, maybe take another... Yeah, get rid of the pink plorts. Maybe take a couple more roostros just to make sure that the breeding happens inside the pen. And then over there, it looks like we are clear. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the episode right here. My name is Splattercat. If you didn't know, it's written below the video. See, there's a blue thing over there. There's a blue thing, and I want it. We need a jetpack first. I will see you all in the next episode. It's been a lot of fun so far. It's always my pleasure to welcome you all here and be like, Hey, guys. Welcome to the... Ooh, it's a lucky kitty over here. I have roostros. There we go. And so the Lucky Slime does something. I think it gets you paid. And then bounces off that way into a wall. Oh, never mind. It disappeared. I think it gave us a little bit of cash. It gave us like 80 bucks. It's the same thing. The Lucky the lucky Slime is the same thing as like the, the Golden Slime. Just shoot food at it. The Lucky Slime, though, is a cat, in case you didn't notice. So because it's a cat, you got to feed it carnivorous stuff. you got to feed it the Poyos. You got to give it some of them pollos, those pechugas de pollos, you know what I mean? So I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for stopping in. It's been a lot of fun so far. Hopefully we'll make a little bit of cash in between here and the next episode. I am looking forward to expanding our operation with you in tow. Joining me for this whole thing. Bye, everybody. Hi, do. Take care of yourself. And have a great day.